If you own a 2007 to current Ram 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine, this video is for you. This small bolt can cost Ram owners up to $30,000 in engine damage. This is the grid heater bolt from a Cummins 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine. And if it fails, it falls into your intake manifold and rolls downhill into your cylinder. At best, it'll get wedged into your intake valve or bounce around the cylinder, damaging your piston, cylinder wall, and head. But at worst, this bolt could cause enough damage to require total engine replacement. We've seen this bolt snap, melt, and even break off in our hands. Whoa. We'll show you exactly what causes this problem, how you can test to see if your bolt is about to fail, and what your options are to prevent it. Here we can see the factory intake heater, otherwise known as the grid heater from the 6.7 liter Cummins. And this is the culprit. This stud connects the 12 volt lead to the grid heater. So it experiences both heat from the grid heater and high electrical current. Over time, the stud corrodes, weakens and melts. Or if you own a Ram where the heater solenoid has failed or stuck on, this stud and nut could melt and fall off like a stalactite from the top of a cave. Oh, I just broke it off. When it falls, it rolls downhill, eventually finding its way into the intake manifold and into cylinder number six. Once thought to occur only in Rams where the grid heater was heavily used thanks to cold climates, we now know that this failure occurs all over the country, regardless of ambient conditions or their amount of use. Failures have been recorded in warm climates such as California, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and Florida. Can you imagine the people that live in a cold environment where they're constantly using their grid heater and putting it to work? Like, this thing looks brand new, and it is, and you can see the damage that's already been done. And to make matters worse, the percentage of trucks that succumb to this failure is still unknown. Luckily, there are a few ways that you can catch this issue before it happens. As the grid heater bolt deteriorates, it loses its ability to conduct current. If you see a check engine light, check the code with a scan tool or Banks iDash. If the scan tool returns a P2609 or P0542 code, this indicates abnormal grid heater performance and the grid heater is malfunctioning. The next step is a physical inspection. You can't get to the grid heater bolt without taking off the intake elbow, fuel lines, and intake plate but you can access the top of the grid heater stud where the 12 volt lead is connected. Locate the 12 volt lead and give the cable a wiggle. Don't touch the metal stud with the batteries connected as you could get shocked. Just wiggle the cable. If you feel any significant movement, this means that the nut that was supposed to hold the stud on tightly from below has loosened and could be hanging by a thread or worse, it could already have broken free. Do not start your truck. Have the truck towed to your local mechanic. So who has the solution? Ram sure doesn't. Even though this is a major design flaw that has affected a significant number of trucks, Ram has not issued a recall or service bulletin. In fact, if you do try to get this fixed at a Ram dealer, not only will it cost you around $3,000 in parts and labor, but they'll replace the failing parts with the same ones that will eventually fail again. The smart, cost-effective solution is to install a bank's Monster Ram. When we engineered the Monster Ram, our goal was to improve airflow, power, throttle response, and fuel economy. The Monster Ram does all these things, and it also fixes the grid heater bolt issue permanently. Here's how. You see, the stock grid heater is a massive obstruction in the path of airflow. The Monster Ram system replaces the stock grid heater with a high-flow billet intake plate. And if you're in a cold climate where you need a heater for cold starts, the Monster Ram includes a coil heater mounted vertically in the intake elbow, offering less restriction and eliminates the chance of a bolt melting and dropping into the engine. Best of all, the Monster Ram is 50 state emissions compliant and it costs less to install than an OEM replacement. Installation can be performed at home with basic hand tools or by any one of our hundreds of authorized banks installing dealers. I'm not a mechanic of any sort, but just grabbed a buddy, um, had some beers and put this thing together in a day. You'll save money on the repair, fix the actual problem by replacing the faulty part and gain power and fuel economy in the process. But you may be asking, who is Banks and how are they an authority on Cummins engines? Since 1958, Gale Banks has designed and manufactured high-performance engines and components for consumers, auto manufacturers, and the Department of Defense. 
Using Cummins engines, Banks has set world speed records and has powered some of the Navy's fastest boats. Today, Banks is the exclusive engine supplier for the U.S. Army's Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Program. Just this year alone, the company has manufactured over 5,000 Banks D866 turbo diesel engines for the JLTV program. These are those engines. It's safe to say Banks knows engines. Join the tens of thousands who have protected their Cummins engines with the Banks 50 State Emissions Compliant Monster Ram. Order yours today by calling 800 601 8072 or find us online at bankspower.com. Hey, shout out to Banks Power. Thanks again. Appreciate all the hard work. <laughs>